sport. Right. That hill in front of you that goes up and up and up at a really quick rate. I'm about to ascend that. That's Glen Creek on the other side of that. Is he coming in here? No. A beautiful day for it. Although I bet the water's freezing. Right, here we go. Oh, so, ooh, they might have repaired this road. Easy peasy, because I fixed the road. Yeah, beauty. Thank you! Yeah, difficulty there of course is it's so steep. It won't look steep on the on the camera, but by Jove it is. Is that for a stunning I just want to adjust this camera. Because uh, I think I can do better. Look at that, that is just marvellous. Now there's a, you see that house in front of us and we turn right and that's us getting onto the top of the hillside or heading towards it, that's, that's the thing. When I was here last time on the Royal Winefield, look how steep this is. When I was here on the last time on the Royal Winefield, the amount of walkers that were on this road. Just incredible. Here we are, we're heading towards the summit. I can tell you it's quite a bit cooler up here, as you would expect. I've been so lucky. No traffic. That makes a difference. I would have hate to see cars coming coming up those very tight steep switchbacks. I'm just taking my time going over this. This road it is stunning. This is probably one of those roads that that your tourists slash visitors doesn't really know and it's only on videos like this where I share these routes that people might get an idea to come and see it. So of course I'll put a map up of of where I've went today. In fact I'll I'll, I'll stick up towards the end rather than here uh, simply because uh, I've got the nice scenery and all that good stuff eh. Jeez, look at them walking dogs. There we go. All very nice, friendly people. Nah, that's their car. They're not walking. <laughs> We come along, here we go, we've got a first car. Alright, what are you gonna do? Well done. Well done that Suzuki Ch 
shortly you'll get to see a great view down the glen. I think I mentioned on the last one when I was coming up here, I said, this will be an absolutely terrific road to see going the other way. Uh, and of course I went in Aberfeldy to get a roll and it, it, it was quite late in the day, so... I went another way. I didn't know where I was going to go today when I got up, uh, when I uh, was, uh, last night when I was sitting, had my tea, I stuck YouTube on and uh, one of my videos came up on the telly on YouTube and it was this one, Glen Creek, on the Royal Enfield. So I watched it and I thought, I'm going to go there tomorrow because the weather's meant to be very nice. And yes, it is very nice. There we go. Yep, still got my pole. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, you stay there, you stay there, you stay there, you stay there. Stunning. There we go, that's fine. Ah, that is... That's the view I thought we were going to get. Absolutely gorgeous. Just leaving it in first, lots of engine, engine braking, not having to use the brakes. Uh, the double hairpin's coming up very shortly. But what a view! Yeah, I should have stopped back up there actually to put the drone up, but no matter. It is feeling a bit blowy. And of course I'm lazy. I'm a lazy sod. <laughs> Can I be bothered? I think that's Loch Fruki in front of us. I might stop down that way, see what it's like at lower levels. Yeah, this is a steep decline. Yeah, here's this, uh, this naughty little double bend. Now, when I was coming up, there was a car coming down and he, he saw me coming up and he thought, and look, there's no passing places. Why didn't you just stop and let me come up through the tight bend? And the last time I was here, the inside, the inside line was a real, a real mess. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. There we go, nice and easy. Uh, just let the bike roll down. Lovely. No, once again it's quite steep. We're uh, now reaching the exit to Glen Creek, the, the pass. It will be in the, the Glen itself, I think. Just shortly. Uh, I think that farm marks the end of this, this bit of road. This is the one that's got the signs on it that says uh, dangerous road, it's not gritted, closed in the winter time, all that kind of stuff. There we go. That's beautiful. The water looks very peaty. That brown colour that you get. Uh, and I don't know if I can turn around. No gritting or snow clearance. Carried out beyond this point. Use alternate routes in the winter. Right. And I think this is us coming to the end of the road. So I'm going to pull over to this uh, station. I'm going to take the cameras down, I'm not going to film anything else, but i uh, just like to say thanks for watching, thanks to everyone who subscribes, comments and likes, it's much appreciated you know, and you know we, what a setting, anyways, for me, this is the end of my filming. Okay everyone, thanks very much for watching, see you next time, bye bye!